Hello everyone, uh, today what I'd like to do is go over kind of a uh, beginner to intermediate level uh, tutorial for how to use the vataware.com website, uh, sim routes, and FS Navigator within FS9 or FS2004. Uh, we'll be using the FSN program to connect to the VATSIM network, which we've already done here in this window. Um, and we'll be using uh, FS Navigator to help generate a route uh, that will help us to be efficient and effective in using VATSIM. The goal is kind of to be uh, organized so that we're our transition from flying by ourselves to flying on the online network is, is more simple and we are able to fly the prescribed routes more appropriately that uh, we've filed for uh, on VATSIM and help our controllers be uh, uh, as, as good as they can be and help us to kind of learn how the, the art of, of navigation in Flight Simulator. Uh, what we've done is we've already chosen a, um, a website here. This is vataware.com to help us generate a route that's reputable and well known. What we're going to do is choose one that goes from Reno, K R N O, to Las Vegas. And we'll just hit enter. And what that does then is it'll bring up the top 10 routes used in the last 12 months uh, Reno 5 to the Mustang or FMG. VOR, the J92 route to BD, VOR, and then the Sunset 2 arrival into Las Vegas. The nice thing about this portion of the Vataware website is it'll bring up a full, uh, nice Google Earth image with all of those intersections that we are going to need uh, to be able to get to our destination uh, as that route prescribes and as what we will file for the VATSIM network. To get into FS Navigator, you obviously still have to have that na uh, downloaded. What you'll do is press F9 and it will show you your position. What I've done already is connected to multiplayer for um, the VATSIM network, so that's why you see these other aircraft flying around. And what you'll do here in this line is click or check the box that says ID. And you'll enter in first the airport name that you'll be departing from. So Reno, you right click and say to flight plan. And then from there, what you'll do is go through each one of the intersections, FMG, right click, add to flight plan. We've already done that. The next intersection, and so on, and add those to your flight plan, and then ending with the arrival and airport that you'll be uh, your destination. Once you're done with that, I highly recommend that you press the plan button and save what, is it, what it is that you've done, uh, meaning I would usually call it the airport name and the destination and then the arrival, or excuse me, then the route and arrival that you'll be taking to get there. Uh, you can also export this to FS9 to view as a, um, or see in your multifunction displays and then I usually name it the exact same. If this uh, sometimes if, if this route seems too sparse or doesn't have enough intersections for the arrival into your destination airport, I highly recommend going to the SimRoutes or, or excuse me SimRoutes.com website and searching for that exact same route or something similar. Um, let's say for example that that last route didn't have any of these intersections for the Sunset 2. What you'd want to do is find a different arrival that will give you more of those intersections so that you can be more precise in your arrival into that airport and that air traffic control will uh, be able to respect and know that you're uh, following a, a reputable plan into the region. Um, and the same works, or excuse me, the same method for this website uh, uh, is uh, using Google Earth. You'll just click on those intersections, you'll see the name, go back to FS Navigator and enter them in one by one. Um, hopefully this is uh, this is helpful in being efficient, uh, a way that you can uh, follow arrivals and uh, be able to work with the air traffic controller in a, in a good way. I find that sometimes that's the, one of the hardest parts and what's daunting about VATSIM is using arrivals and other um, uh, routes uh, the right way. And so hopefully this is a method that will help you. Um, we welcome any suggestions or ideas. Please post and comment. Um, one last thing that I want to point out that would help a lot of folks too is just to Google the arrival that they will be using or the departure from their departing airport. Um, just Google the name of it and search for an image or a plate 
For example, this is a Sunset 2 arrival that we'll be using into Las Vegas, and it has all of the intersections that should be followed on our way in to Las Vegas, as well as um, altitudes and other uh, speed uh, restrictions that we should be following on our way in. Uh, this really helps out the controllers as well as if we have that on board, so to speak, or in our hands to look at as we uh, go through the flight. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and uh, that you have a good experience on the VATSIM network.